Hey, what's up? My name is Yunus and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install Kali Linux on a virtual machine. And this is one of the very first steps to take in the world of ethical hacking. At first, we're gonna go ahead and install a VM virtual machine box and then we're gonna go ahead and download Kali Linux and install it on our virtual machine. So without further ado, let's get started. Now let's download and install a virtual machine. So in Google, type in VM box. So the first website that appears here, go in the download section and download this Windows hosts. If you click on that, you're going to see that it's downloading. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video so you can just enter this website by click of a button. So after it's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and install it. The installation is very simple. You just go ahead and next, next, next and yes. As you can see, I have it installed and that's why I'm getting this warning. So I'm going to go ahead and just yes. Okay, the virtual machine is ready to go, but now we need the Kali Linux operating system. To get Kali, we're gonna go to a website called unispc.com. Whose website that is? We're gonna go to products. Here, I'm gonna select this ultimate ethical hacking package 2.0 and add it to cart. If you want to enter the ethical hacking world and start penetration testing and attacks by the day one, you need this package, bro. I'm telling you, this is what you need. As you can see, there are more than 1000 tools in this package. This is a customized version of Kali Linux complete with essential software and tools specifically designed to equip you for entering the world of ethical hacking and penetration testing. That means if you download this package and install it on your virtual machine, you're good to go and you can start ethical hacking right after you install it. Cool, right? It has pretty much everything like cracking tools, bypassing tools, and on this side, you can see there's responder, SQL map, veil evasion. There's also package 1.0 that has more than 500 tools, but I'm gonna go with the second package. All right, this is what would be downloaded. And if you open it up, you can see a link. And if you click on this link, you will be directed to this website and you can download the actual file here. I'm gonna select it and click on download. So this is around 11 gigabytes of files, so it might take a bit long for you to be downloaded. A few moments later. So here it is, the actual file. I'm gonna go ahead and extract it. And I'm gonna extract it here. Thousand years later. Alright, here it is. This is what is extracted and we have the Kali Linux 2.0 here. So now I want you to go ahead and open the VM virtual box that we just downloaded recently. Alright, once you open it, you'll see this window will appear on your desktop. I want you to go ahead and click on this new. Um, here you can name anything you want. I'm going to go ahead and just name Yunus PC. And here I'm going to choose Linux and in the version. I'm gonna go ahead and select the D-Bain, 64 bit. You can also select the 32 bit, but if only you are using a system from 90s. <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. Here you can leave this as is, but I just like to increase these a little bit. I'm gonna put this on 3000 and the CPU on two. So here we're gonna go ahead and check this box. And from here, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna click on add and I'm gonna go ahead and open that folder we just extracted. Then I'm gonna select our Kali Linux 2.0. Since I already have it, I will get this message, but don't worry, you won't. You can easily go ahead and click on choose. And just like that, you have chosen our file. You can click on next and finish. That's pretty much it. As you can see, the UNES PC is added right here, the one that we just made, and you can now go ahead and click on start. This is the fun part. Now we're just gonna wait for Kelly to be started. And as you can see, it is started. At the beginning, you will need a username and password. If you go to the file that we just downloaded, you can see a password section. And if you just open it up, you will see the username and password for our operating system. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste those and click on login. As you can see, it's a very small window. I'm gonna go ahead in view and select the full screen mode. And just like that, you installed Kali Linux on your virtual machine. And as you can see, you have all the cool and crazy tools to start doing anything. Now you have the whole world in front of you. And if you wanna close the Kali and jump back to your windows, you can just come here in the corner and shut it down. As easy as that. 
Thanks for watching this video, I hope you've learned something new and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below, I'll answer them all. Also don't forget to check the links down below because I made your job easier to find the files that we just downloaded. See you in the next one, peace.